Hey, quick episode here of Simply Salesforce. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a task every time a new opportunity is created. And I'm going to lay out the business use case for this real quick um, to show you why this is so important for optimizing you know, your, your Salesforce org and your reporting, especially if you're keeping track with accounts and leads and making sure that people are you know, being kept in touch with. So here I'm going to show you um, a sample of an activity dashboard I've created in Salesforce. And the main thing we're looking at here is the account recent activity levels. And you could create various reports to show when your last activity was with that account or the days since last activity with a formula or create these buckets that I have here that show you how many accounts you have within certain time periods that you haven't done anything with them yet. So you're gonna have various things rolling up in your activity feed in your Salesforce work depending on what integrations you have, what your other workflows look like and stuff like that. But one thing that might be important depending on the high usage or lack of usage from your um, sales or business development team is going to be, you know, how important is it that these opportunities are being logged inside the activity feed um, on that account, right? If you're using these types of, you know, reports and dashboards, because this is one way to, you know, keep track of that. Hey, we're, we are actually interacting with this company, but maybe your sales rep just hasn't been logging it. So we do know we're in contact with them, but we, so we don't want them to be cluttering up the other accounts that we actually haven't spoken with. So in a case like this, when a new opportunity is created, and maybe that's one of the only things that's on the account we, we wanted to show on the activity feed that we're working with them. So here we are, you take a look here. I've got my other stuff rolled up here, but you can see that I've got a new opportunity created and this was automatically generated from a Salesforce flow. And like I said, this will now update and show accordingly for this account in those dashboards. So basically all you're gonna need to worry about here is getting that record, record triggered flow um, as your starting point. And it's just, when an opportunity record is created. And now there's a lot of different ways you can take this and you can fine tune this for your own org, but this is just the example we're going through today. And here is the action, right? We have our, uh, we're gonna assign it to the user ID that created it, right? We want the due date set for our task just to be the created date for that record in this case. Um, and the big thing here is you wanna make sure that you have your related record ID set to the account of that opportunity record, right? So it's gonna pick up the parent um, related record here. And these are other things, status is completed. That's just a required task field that we have on ours. And then the subject here is just, I've typed in new opportunity record created, like you saw back over here, new opportunity, cre new opportunity created. And then it just is going to insert the name of that opportunity, right? So you can add a lot more to these. You can, you know, if you want more details, then you can do that. But the bare minimum here is that this is being logged in the activity feed, which can be preferential to something being logged in the chatter feed where you're doing like feed tracking, right? This is better because it's gonna show up on these reports and there are reports based around you know activity. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great rest of your day.